Hi, I'm Catherine Farrington Garcia, and I'm gonna to talk to you about how do you set up a casting call and hold an audition. So when you're preparing to host an audition, read the script several times. Really familiarize yourself with the story, know all of the characters, understand the world of the story so that you know who you're looking for. Ask a lot of questions to the director, the producers, the writers, wh whomever you have access to. Um, do research about the, the world of the story. When I was casting Video Game High School Season 2, I made a little vocab list. I didn't know what leap meant, I didn't know what pwned was, so I took that all home from my husband who defined all of these terms for me so that I could know what somebody who was gonna be pwned looked like. So to let people know about your audition, you're gonna make a casting breakdown or a casting notice. You would want to include all the specific information that you can about the production. The title, the production type, union status, filming location. Is it in Montreal? Is it on the moon? Is it in LA? We'll go through this formatting again in a different video, so don't worry about it being perfect, but here's the information for you. So after you've listed all the specific information about the production in your uh, casting breakdown, you're gonna wanna list all the specific information about the story and the characters that you're casting. Each character's name, their age, their sex, you can put their ethnicity, but I only like to do that if it's specifically required by the script. Do they need to dance? Do they need really good improv skills? Is this somebody who needs to have fighting experience? Cast a wide net for who you're looking for. You can use online resources like Actors Access, Casting Frontier, Use Facebook or, or Instagram or any of your social sites to, to get people that you already know. Pull in your friends who are talented. That's completely appropriate. <laughs> Organizing and replying to your submissions can be by far the most time consuming element of casting, especially if you're doing it for somebody else because you want to give them a wide variety of choices. Give yourself an organized spreadsheet of who you've replied to, who's confirmed their audition time, for replying to casting submissions, I always set up a separate casting email. That way people don't have my personal contact information and I can keep all of the casting replies in a single place. It's really easy to review that way and keeps yourself a little bit protected. Also, I don't like to include the audition address in my initial casting breakdown. When you reply to people that you're interested in seeing, I like supplying that information. If you give it up front, you might have people just drop by who you're not interested in seeing, which can interrupt your day. I like scheduling people in windows so that they arrive in ways that are easy for me to see them. About 10 to 15 minutes per person, I usually call in five people for a half an hour block. That way, they're not waiting too long, and if somebody doesn't show, I'm not waiting too long. And I would say with a, a small project, no matter how hard you try to confirm everybody, you're gonna have about a five to 10% no-show rate. So figure that out when you're booking enough people. Nail it. Creating the environment for your audition, people get really nervous about what's the perfect space to have an audition. What I think is the most important thing is creating an atmosphere where an actor can show you their best. So setting up an atmosphere where everybody can be comfortable together, where everything is well labeled and really efficient is, is the most important thing. In order to create that, your waiting room or the area where the actors are all gonna hang out until they're ready for their specific audition needs to be semi-private. You need to have seating available. Have a sign-in sheet so that people who get there aren't confused about who's next. People really take comfort in being able to write down their name and saying, Sarah's first, I'm second, Becky's third. Everything that you do to make things less confusing is just gonna result in a better performance from your actors, an easier, happier day for you, and overall a better production. For the audition room itself, that's a little bit different. You're gonna want an atmosphere that's pretty blank so that they, the actor is the thing on focus. You're gonna want a table for all of the casting people to, at which they can sit with all of the pictures and all the things they need to write on and chairs for enough people in the room. I always recommend on the first round of auditions that you have as few people in the room as possible. You don't need the producer and the director and three casting assistants and you and, no. You want a private, comfortable space where the actress can come in for the first time, meet you, and handle their business well. When you have an audition, you have to have a side or a piece of the script that an actor can use to come in and audition for the role. You wanna use something specifically from the script, if at all possible, to give you the best look at how that person is gonna fit into the show. For a lead, I would suggest something about a page and a half per emotion, so no more than three pages for a lead. 
For a smaller roll, I'd suggest about a page and a half. It doesn't have to be as contrasting as the leads, but again, anything that you can give an actor that they can really sink their teeth into, skills that they have, is great. Also, be able to answer questions about the scene. If an actor comes in and says, I don't really understand why they're so angry, you've read the script several times, so you should be able to answer that question and help guide them through the audition. I would suggest having a reader. A reader is somebody who can come in and read the other characters on the side with the actor, somebody with whom they can engage. A reader can also help you maintain focus on the actors as opposed to trying to read and focus on them as well. Having an audition in front of you is one experience and seeing it on camera is another. You're not gonna be able to remember the specifics of every single person that, come in through, that comes in throughout the day. You're gonna to wanna to review their performance on tape. You can record that on your phone, on an iPad, on a camera, on a tripod. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be an amazing video, it just has to be a great reference so that you can either review the performances yourself or show them to the director and producer so that they can accurately see who they want to call back in for callbacks. When you're setting up the filming of that performance, you want to have a good frame, about chest to head, not an, a, a tremendous amount of extra headspace, nothing too wide, a good focus to make the actor look as good as possible. There's nothing worse than having somebody give you an amazing performance and they look like garbage on the, on the tape that you made and you can't accurately show a director how amazing that person was. Really notice things from the moment an actor enters. Do they look like they're headshot? Do they look prepared? Are they late? Make sure that the person is reading the situation professionally. Especially with small productions, you're gonna get a wide variety of people with a wide variety of experience. You're gonna to need to weed people out and assessing them as they enter the room is an important part of that. If an actor comes in and they're really in character and they, they're really focused, don't bother with a lot of small talk. Get started and allow them to stay in that, that mental headspace so their performance is uninterrupted. If an actor comes in and they seem really nervous, take a minute with them. Have some small talk. Chat, you've scheduled your day. It's completely fine, you've got time for that. Allow that actor to calm down for a second. Give yourself and them time to get settled so they're able to give you the best performance possible. It's really okay and really encouraged to experiment with actors in the room with you. Play around with that person. They're excited to come in and act for you. So take some time and work through it with them, especially if you think somebody is really close to what you want. In the same way, once you think the performance is finished and you've seen everything that that person has to offer, don't give any notes. This is a professional experience, not an acting class. When the audition is over and you'd like the actor to leave the room, say something really positive and really final. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. We'll be letting people know shortly. Or, thank you so much. I've seen everything that I need to and we'll be contacting everyone in the next week. That way you're not promising anything, the actor feels good about the experience, and they know it's over. If you had a really strong feeling about an actor and a director or producer isn't really seeing it, fight for that person. If they had an amazing presence in the room and an amazing performance on the day, and you think that they could be shaped into something that would really fit the story or really help the production, show the director what you saw in that performance and, and take the time to explain why you think it was so good. Don't be afraid to present your opinions. It's a really wonderful tribute to an actor to have a casting director who believes in them and fights for them, even though a director or a producer might not see it initially. We hope that this information that you can take will really help you find actors who are gonna help you through all of your filmmaking. Make friends with these people, start talking to them, start making a catalog of actors that you wanna work with. Even if you don't hire somebody for this production, hold on to their information. They might be amazing for the next thing that you do. We hope that you can take all of this very technical information, make the experience your own, and put together some really amazing films.